Welcome back to Chem 21 Labs. This is the second part of our ethanol distillation, the fractional distillation of ethanol. We first set up our apparatus for fractional distillation, which will be slightly more complicated than in the simple distillation. We have our smaller ceramic heating uh, device, as well as our voltage regulator, a 100 milliliter round bottom distillation head, vacuum adapter, two condensers, thermometer, clips, thermometer adapter, and clamp, as well as then steel wool packing for the fractionating column, and boiling chips for the boiling flask. Our apparatus now has a smaller boiling flask and a smaller ceramic heater due to having less than 100 milliliters of boiling liquid this time. We have packed our fractionated column with the steel wool, placed our thermometer in the same way and the condenser in the same way with the iron ring to support. We will then have our lab jack with our graduated cylinder to collect the distillate. Once the 50 milliliters of 40 to 60 percent ethanol is added to the boiling flask along with boiling stones, we reassemble the apparatus, placing the thermometer again in an appropriate position to measure the temperature of the vapors entering the condenser. Then we add the water hoses before turning on the heat and we had a little bit of a problem with the water hose. For some reason, the water inlet was not working very well. It didn't want to flow evenly, and it also started a bulge in one of the tubes, as you can see. We had some back pressure in the line for some reason, trying to hold them up so they weren't kinking, but eventually they just built up so much pressure that the hoses popped off and water went everywhere. There's something going on there. After cleaning up, we had to move everything to the other side of the hood so that the hoses were a little closer to the tap and hopefully we wouldn't have any pressure issues. We then replaced the thermometer in the correct position. You can see there's still some water on the outside of the apparatus. After a bit, it begins to boil. We want it to boil very slowly this time. We want the vapors to enter the fractionating column and have time to condense and evaporate and condense and evaporate multiple times. So we have to be very patient as the vapors go up the fractionating column. It can take many minutes, 15, 20 minutes to reach the very top. You can see here that there is vaporization and condensation taking place here about halfway. Each time the vaporization and condensation takes place, that is called a theoretical plate. The longer the fractionating column, the more theoretical plates we will have. At this point, the vapors have almost reached the thermometer, but not quite. See there's refluxing where the vapors are dropping back down. Temperature is still reading at room temperature. At this point we have what's called a four shot, which is a low boiling point fraction that takes place below 70 degrees. This is not considered to be ethanol, and it's only a couple of drops. We don't see any real condensation. There's almost no vapor at all. Some very low molecular weight uh, nonpolar substances are formed during distillation, such as acetone. And these are generally discarded 
prior to collecting the ethanol. You notice you can't see any liquid con condensation at all in the distillation head at this point, but there were a few drops that came out. Down below, you still see the liquid boiling and condensing and falling back down. And at the bottom, you notice there's a lot more surface tension, viscosity in the droplets on the side than there is at the top. Once those first few drops came out, the temperature started to raise to above 70 degrees. Started to see a little more condensation near the condenser and then the side arm of the distillation head. At this point, we get ready for our main fraction. There you can see the reflux line just at the level of the sidearm of the distillation head. The reflux line is important to watch because that tells you exactly where the vapors have reached to in your apparatus. Yeah, we're about to get the first drop going in to the condenser. Starting to see a few droplets. Notice how much less surface tension the liquid that is condensing now seems to have than in the simple distillation. Much less surface tension, much less viscosity, showing you that we've gotten indeed some purification and we're effectively removing the water during this process of fractional distillation. So there's a drop starting to run down. point the temperature is right around 75 Like I said, you have to be very patient while you're waiting for fractional distillation to take place. Just above 75 degrees now. When the drop finally reaches the graduated cylinder, we will record the temperature. This will be the first drop of our ethanol fraction. First drop, 75. See there, starting to form just barely, very, very slowly forming that liquid. Now it's only one drop every five to ten seconds. Even now we can't see much dripping off of the thermometer or much condensation in the distillation head. It's usually a good sign because it's keeping the water out of there the water would form those thick droplets that we would see, but we're not really seeing much water at all coming over at this point.
Here's our data showing that the temperature went from just above 75 in the first drop, remained below 80 for more than 20 millimeters. We obviously had to continue to increase the heat to keep pushing it over fast enough, eventually with a much slower drop rate than in simple distillation, but it did pick up a bit. After about just over 20 milliliters had co collected, the drop rate slowed considerably. We had to raise the heat. And eventually, the temperature shot up past that point again to from about 80 degrees up to over 90 degrees, almost within 1 to 2 milliliters collecting. this stage you can really see the difference between the condensing liquid at the bottom versus the condensing liquid at the top. So once the temperature went over 80 or 81 degrees, it was shooting up pretty fast at that point, we emptied our graduated cylinder and started collecting the last fraction this fraction was not going to be considered for our ethanol yield. It was just there to collect some temperature data. The liquid that came out is mostly water at that point, so we did not include this in our yield calculation. You can see now the appearance is quite different. At this point, we took our main fraction that collected nearly at the same temperature, and measured its density again. First we weigh the empty flask with the parafilm. Then we pipette out exactly 10.00 milliliters with a volumetric pipette, place it into the flask and cover it, take its mass, and from the density we can then calculate the mass percent and volume percent of alcohol in our main ethanol fraction. Thank you for watching. This has been Fractional Distillation of Ethanol. Please stay tuned for more Chem 21 videos.